keep it secrets to different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed here. Yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it here. Yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done yet. Yeah. We're from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Jimmy, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today, I'm gonna give you the season six best lockdown build, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, it's like of the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for our daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into the video, okay? So, first and foremost, left and right hand, it doesn't really matter. Um, We're gonna go small for this 66250 with a seven foot two wingspan okay so that's what we're gonna be rocking with then what we're gonna be doing here is this on our physicals we're gonna go ahead and go 85 on the speed we're gonna go 80 on the acceleration we're gonna go ahead and go 90 on the strength and that 90 strength will give you that move one forcer on gold and of course that brick wall on gold but really having that move one forcer for your lockdown is gonna be huge then on your vert you want to go 80 on your vert all right with that 80 vert it's going to be for their chase downs now we're also going to go 99 on the stamina for your 94 feet and workhorse being on hall of fame so the physical series are going to be really really good and instead of going 77 i went 80 and that's going to be for your spot finder so you'll see that in a second but i think that's gonna be really good for you know being a lockdown being a spot up and just trying to get open so i thought that pretty dope right just little things here right now when it comes to the finishing, right, as a lockdown, the only thing you want to have is just an 85 standing dunk. That's it. Don't worry about anything else. I know that's going to be different from some of the lockdowns I made, but trust me, um, I've been watching a lot of these comp pro-am and I'm just seeing they just don't do it. And what you and it makes sense because what you with this 85 standing dunk, you get every single standing dunk animation. Um, you get area wizard on gold and the big thing is, is that when you go when you run into the basket, all you have to do is just stop and get a standing dunk you don't have to worry about a driving layup or a driving dunk all you have to do is just back door stop because most of the time your back doors aren't going to be continuous most of the time your back door is going to be under there you stop and you just dunk it um on a fast break you dribble you catch it you dunk it um so it is going to be more of a comp pro-am type lock but i've been running one in park all the time and no issues the beautiful thing about this is by doing it this way it allows you to put attributes everywhere else okay so just keep that in mind right so you got to keep an open mind with it but trust me this is you don't need anything else okay now on your shooting <clears throat> you want to go 90 on your mid-range all right that 90 mid-range is going to give you that dead eye on go right so now you're going to have you see blinders dead eye catch and shoot green machine space creator spot finder all on gold guard up and mini musician on go then you get your comeback hit and open looks on hall of fame all right then on your three ball you want to go 82 82 would just give you claymore right on go so that's a big thing there right so now it's just adding more boost to your jumper all right so now you just get more boost from that you get your catch and shoot like i said right here on go now you got claymore on go you got open looks on hall of fame and of course you have corner specialists on silver so you should be able to hit your shots of course you'll get the best jumper in the game with tracy mcgrady jump shot base but of course whatever the bases you want to have too you can have um it's just that you're just going to be a very 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 good shooting um lockdown all right um then we're going to go 93 on the free throw um 93 free throw courses give you them free points now of course if you're not playing any type of rec or pro am any, any that type of deal of course you can just take this all the way down as low as it can and put the attributes elsewhere but just understand that for the most part you know most people are playing rec and stuff so you just want to you know make sure you can hit your shots and having gold three points is going to be pretty solid all right then for your pass accuracy you want to go 77 on your pass accuracy um this again is more so just to get that needle threader on bronze um, I speak. I spoke about this a lot about just you know individuals trying to play the paint and try to guard a three point line at the same time. Or every single time you go to the basket, everybody crashes on you. So when you pass it back out, now the nearest person to that defender out there will get stunned, and 
to me you know it goes a long way doing that you also get break starter on silver just to help you with those outlet passes so for the most part i think this is pretty solid and, and this is what we're going to rock with right now when it comes to the defensive side for one you're six six so your interior defense going 61 is not going to change anything so what we're going to do is just focus on our perimeter defense and we're going to go all the way up to 98 all right and that's going to give us our pick dodger on hall of fame all right to me that's a good one to go to now some of y'all might not want to do that and that's okay i can tell you out there i make the build what some other out at um routes you can go but you will get hall of fame 94 feet ankle braces challenger pick dodger workhorse and of course the off ball pass very good i mean we all know how physical this game is and having off ball pass hall of fame is going to be something special along with having pick dodger a lot of people don't have pick dodger hall of fame so that's going to be a big thing too being able to work around those picks now we are going to go 96 on our steel and that's going to be for the right stick ripper on hall of fame which is again has been a very 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 strong batch this year interceptor um it's kind of up in the air yeah i mean if y'all watched my last gameplay i feel like having an interceptor hall of fame i was hit pressing square and the ball was still being tipped going right through me so um you know that it is what it is but yeah then we're gonna go on our block we're gonna go 78 on the block that is for that chase down that silver chase down artist and then we're going to go 60 on our defensive rebound and that's going to give us as you can see box out and that rebound chaser just the ability to be able to get that so <coughs> starting our season six if you're looking for a lockdown build i figured this would be something that you should definitely take a look at in my humble opinion if you wanted to get more of a driving dunk or a driving layup or whatever else and you're just not custom to to this type of setup a, I definitely say you should look at a lot of pro am um, builds and stuff because usually the pro am players make really, 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 really good cheesy builds, right? And the reason why they make them cheesy is because they only have one job to do. Now, if you're somebody that says, "Well, I want to have a lockdown that can dribble, that can finish, that can shoot, that can do all that," I've had made other lockdowns like that from previous seasons, so you just want to check out those other videos. Um, again, you could go 94 here, and the only thing you lose is just that pick dodger, right? So you can go 94 here <clears throat> and then you could sorry about that guys i'm getting over code but then you can you know have lead way to put it elsewhere like if you wanted to get that driving dunk right to like you know sick uh, get it up you can or you can go alternate route and go like here 45 here go 65 on your driving dunk or whatever else like figure out the route you want to go to be able to get the driving dunk that you want but you shouldn't be focusing on layup at all no one should be doing anything with the layup to be honest with you right but again there's there you know there's one way to, to to go about there's more than one way to go about this but that's the route that i was saying that you should you know individuals should to take a look at because it just makes the most sense to go this route you know what i'm saying um so let me just make sure i got everything here oh 80 here and we should be good all right there we go so um but this is the lockdown that i think that everybody should do, is going to dominate with but Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this lockdown build, man. Um, I think it comes up as a two-way spot-up threat, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two-way spot-up threat. So, you know who? This is the build. Let me know what y'all think about in the comment section. What would you change differently? How do you feel about not having a driving layup and, and driving dunk? Just strictly standing dunk. But other than that, it's your favorite old head, Uncle Jimmy. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.